Hi up. Look who's here. I was just uh, in the middle of doing more researching for the feeding habits of that primate over there. Now I'm Jane Girl for you. I happen to be a primatologist and I have fascination with primates and birds since I was a very young girl. To begin my life as a scientist, I had a desire to read books about zoology and ethology. As a secretary at a university, I saved up money for my trip to Africa. I teamed up with Louis Leakey and joined him on an anthropological dig where we study the remains of early humans. After a while, I returned back to England to work on an animal documentary. In 1960, I returned back to Africa and that's when my research in primates really began. After many failed attempts of observing chimps and tiger mega, I soon developed an observation pattern to observe the chimps and get closer to them. I have received numerous awards in animal conservation and environmental work with primates. My biggest accomplishments were being named Messenger of Peace and being named a Dane by the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II. I have absolutely enjoyed studying primates and I've been doing it so long for 40 years. I'm surprised I haven't lost the plot. Hello, and good afternoon. Here's my speech on conservation and my feeling and my personal feelings out to primates. Researchers find it very necessary to keep things on. They don't want to admit that the animals they're working with have feelings. They don't want to admit that they might have minds and personalities. Because that will make it very hard them to do what they do. So we find that within lab communities, there is a very strong resistance among researchers to admitting that animals might have minds and personalities and feelings. By and large, students are told that it is ethically correct to, per to perpetrate and live science. What? By remaining in close contact with the chimps that I was studying, I discovered that some primates had a social system that allows them to show their feelings with one another. I made the first recorded observations of primates associated with tool making and with and making their own unique feeding habits. I want people to see that primates are more human than they think than you think. Speaking of which, I plan to make a turn in ethology. Most ethologists, as most ethologists presume, they think that primates are vegetarian. I myself have corrected this statement. I have witnessed chimps eating insects, birds, and small animals like antelope and even baby baboons. People say that I would open a door to the chimpanzee world. I hope for more primatologists to understand my declarations that primates are very human. For proof, I have witnessed chimps teaching each other, deliberately eating medical plants, and I plan to make more theories on how early humans developed religion based on chimps doing a spontaneous dance by a waterfall. I want to create a path for women primatologists and I want to dominate behavioral studies in primates. I'm Jane Goodall, and this is who I am.